Miller's law states that the average person can process only around seven pieces of information in a given time. It's a very important finding for UX designers, but many of us interpret this heuristic too literal, leading to unnecessary limitations in our projects. This law originates from the article published in 1956 by behavioral psychologist George Miller. Miller noticed and described that the most of the young adults have a memory limit of about seven information pieces. In his article, he focused focus more on the concept of information chunking. He noted that the size of the information chunk doesn't really matter. Seven words can be remembered with the same ease as seven letters. But the limiting factor is our short-term memory capacity. And chunking of information helps us with remembering better. Later studies of short memory revealed that its capacity varies between people, even when measured in chunks. In the context of UX design, chunking of information leads to a very valuable approach approach to content management and presentation. When content in our project is broken down to smaller pieces, it allows users for better understanding and navigation. Users are able to go through available information, uncover the ones linked to their goals, and achieve those goals faster. By designing our interfaces in a clear and structured way, where the content is broken down to smaller pieces, we are adapting to our users' natural limitations, leading to better experience for them. The simplest example of this law in work is the way we are typically formatting phone numbers. Without the chunking of information, a phone number is a very long stream of numbers, definitely more than seven, and very hard to remember. Let's move to more complicated example. You definitely encounter it many times when browsing the internet. The famous wall of text. It's similar to the phone number example, but on much bigger scale. As you can see, text formatted this way is hard to go through and process, which leads to higher cognitive load for the users. After reformatting by giving it hierarchy and structure, the difference is striking. Now let's move to the more general example. We can help users to better understand hidden connections within our content by grouping it into clear, separated modules. This is especially useful for content-heavy websites like news portals, where those separated, topic-oriented modules allow users to quickly scan for the information that they are interested in. News websites aside, all of your user interfaces will benefit from clear information architecture structure based on grouping of topic-related content. Last thing worth mentioning about Miller's Law is the mentioned at the beginning popular misunderstanding of it. Limit of seven information pieces shouldn't force you to reduce the number of navigation elements or any other design decisions that would limit functionality in any way. What you should focus on is a proper breakdown of content elements, categorization and grouping, not necessarily limiting numbers of available options to seven. Because within the UI, users don't need to remember those options. They need to be able to quickly scan and find whatever they are looking for. If you are interested in learning something else today, watch this video here.